jellyfish. It's been lighting up the dark for hundreds of millions of years. Certain species shoot bright flashes of light to stun and confuse their enemies. Some flash. Some sparkle. Others simply glow. Down here, as many as 90% of life forms shine. They're some of the most dynamic, dazzling, jaw-dropping displays in nature. It's these rocket ships and explosions of sparks and spewing of what looks like blue smoke. And these long chains look like Japanese lanterns extending off into the distance as far as you can see. It's magic. They've journeyed to the other side of the world, to the pristine and remote waters of the Solomon Islands. To unravel how and why light-producing animals evolved. And perhaps put their living light to work for us. Let's leap from solid certainty into the unknown. Escape stagnant thinking. Find reason in the tempest. Answers in the fathomless and in the glorious, glorious mud. Down, 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 to the depths of discovery. Because in this deep blue, our fate ebbs and flows. It is a mirror reflecting back our world, ever rolling, ever knowing, ever changing and in our knowledge of it we will find our future and we will all surge forwards we soak up its energy set our clocks by it need it to see light is so precious to us humans, we've coaxed it into lasting all night long. But imagine a world without it. While we're cursing the darkness, countless thousands of other species have evolved a much brighter response without burning an ounce of fossil fuel. It's called bioluminescence. Living light. and fireflies to plankton and jellyfish it's been lighting up the dark for hundreds of millions of years on land where it's dark only at night just a fraction of creatures evolved the gift of glow descend into the deepest depths of the oceans where the bulk of earth's creatures reside and you find a very different story down here as many as 90 percent of life forms shine the water is too dark the distances are too great and the light the animals give off is too unpredictable Deep sea bioluminescence has only been filmed in the wild a handful of times. On the surface. But animals invest so much energy into lighting up an 
been standing out in the first place. They are questions marine biologist Edie Witter has been grappling with for decades to study it underwater. Rocket ships and, and explosions of sparks and spewing of what looks like blue smoke into the distance as far as you can see. It's magic. Edie devised her own methods to trigger these underwater light shows. She mounted a large screen on the front of her submersible. When creatures bump into it, they light up, and her low-light cameras record them in the act. Over the years, the aptly named Splat Cam has helped bring to light some of the most bizarre creatures in the deep. Everything from jellyfish to sea cucumbers. The open ocean is the biggest living space on our planet. In this deep, dark abyss, light, it seems, is vital. And creatures have evolved to wield it in many different ways, for many different reasons. Tiny organisms called dinoflagellates, for example, alight in unison whenever the water around them is disturbed, taking the shape of whatever swims through them. treat for the lucky few who get to bask in their soft glow. But for predators of these microbes, like shrimp, it's more like tripping a motion sensor. Every time they make a move, the lights come on and give away their location. Predator becomes prey to a host of other creatures, like cuttlefish. But some shrimp are armed with their own light-filled defenses. When threatened, certain species shoot bright flashes of light to stun and confuse their enemies. There's a lot of animals that actually can release their luminescence that way. So you can have something like a shrimp that will spew luminescence out of its mouth like a fire-breathing dragon. Rather than blinding their predators, a huge variety of fish, from squid to sharks, use light to hide from them. It's called counter-illumination. And it may seem counterintuitive, but consider how a fish swimming near the surface appears to a predator in the depths below. As sunlight or moonlight beams down on them, their silhouettes are plain as day. And so an enormous number of animals in the ocean produce bioluminescence from their bellies that exactly matches the intensity and the color of the sunlight coming down through seawater. When the lights come on, the animals vanish. It's an amazing cloaking device. They just disappear, utterly disappear. And the excess energy is given off as light. Over the last century, this light-producing reaction has been discovered scattered across the entire natural world, both above the surface and beneath the waves. That's how readily available these ingredients are. The actual chemicals differ from creature to creature, but the basic mechanism of fuel and spark is the same. From flies and worms, to jellies and fish, to snails, even mushrooms. 
reaction is so common, it has evolved independently on different branches of the evolutionary tree more than 40 separate times. You find it from the single cell bacteria, up through things like starfish, you know, jellyfish, up, up through the vertebrates, fishes. When it comes to the survival of a species, nothing holds a candle to light.